Travis Wingard's all. Alrighty. <sighs> Back for the attack. Uh, so today should have been the day when I uh, go in at 10.15 for my Cyprus appointment because we're not allowed in otherwise uh, so that they can uh, notarize the uh, you know, documents I was going to send to the courts and I forgot to cancel but uh, yeah the coronavirus has protected the LDS church because there are several lawsuits that the church is uncomfortable with but mine most of all because mine they tried to use a death threat to uh, stop mine after failing to cover up the cover up <laughs> uh, that they were exposed for in my case uh, and so uh, yeah, they, you guys may know more about Kay Burningham's case and how the judge is sitting on that one now because, oh, coronavirus, oh, we gotta wait, oh, too bad, so sad. Uh, but uh, mine, it was a victory. Today I would have been going in saying, entry of default, motion for final judgment default judgment and then here's the billion page list of all of the assets of the church as, uh, as you see right here this is the box of paper I had all ready to go <laughs> to uh, print it out uh, even if it ended up going to trial, if the church said, We're innocent! <laughs> That's what they all say. Uh, I still would have had to have done printouts. But, uh, <sighs> they're getting away with it, guys. That's not what it's about. It's not about who can cheat to get away with crimes. That's not how it works. You Mormons know better. You know that's not how it's done. You know you have to be in the right from the beginning. You can't commit crime. You can't cover up your crime. You know this. You know the scriptures. You know in the Book of Mormon where it says wickedness never was happiness. And you can say, well, I'm having lots of fun having sex. But then when you get some vengeful Christian who thinks they're the arm of God, who creates a, a HIV virus, for example, and spreads it into the population of sinners by being a sinner themselves, and then blames it on a monkey in Africa, Uh, yeah, that's what coronavirus did. I have now established it. Having identified the four horsemen of the apocalypse, I have confirmed that this was man-made. The coronavirus is a bat disease. It doesn't spread to humans unless it has been altered. There's a scientific term for that. But... Uh, Yeah, we're going to go clear through Passover when uh, Creeping Death occurred in the Bible. And uh, it's actually going to require a natural disaster to save us. Because that's what they're doing now. Is they're 
using fascist tactics. Stay at home. Don't go out. Stay away from everybody. Segregation. And uh, firing us from our jobs. So we now have food insecurity as we run out of food because we're going clear through July, guys. That's what Virginia has now extended it to. And so it, it's bad news. And so uh, I can continue to do a few things that I have planned, but uh, we're looking at the end of Travis Wayne Goodsell, the Twig uh, videos on YouTube. Because uh, when, when there's nothing to criticize, you can't be a critic. <laughs> I mean, it's like, uh, uh, who has an interest in listening to me criticize the Babylonian religion? <laughs> They're dead and gone. They're no longer an issue. Uh, that's... That's the one thing I didn't understand about Trump, is that he kept going after Hillary after Russia put him in the presidency. He still kept pushing that he beat Hillary, and that Hillary is a criminal, and she needs to be locked up, and blah, 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 blah. He, she's gone. You, She's gone. Russia put you in, and the media let you stay in, and the Democrats let you stay in. He still won't let go. Um, that's what I would be like with the Mormon church after conference that's what I would be like the church is closed conference is over they're now silent there won't be anything to criticize anymore you know I can go back and say how awful a monster Brigham Young was and the murder of Joseph Smith but who's listening they're gone they're closed it's over and so, yes, I technically got my request for relief. Sort of. There's still Mormons wandering these streets. I mean, for right now, they're ordered to stay at home and stay away from me. <laughs> but that's not going to be forever. Eventually, unless they purposely use the coronavirus as the fear for the rest of our lives, that we have to change and stay at home from now on. Um, that's that's it's going to come to an end. Uh, otherwise, uh, that would be a horrible scenario. Living in fear of coronavirus, which has long since died off, but they continue to use it as a scare tactic to control our behavior. Hmm. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, they, they'd have to figure out a way to get us working. I mean, I can do it. I still receive money on a regular basis. And, and uh, uh, Amazon is, does great for royalties. So, yeah, if you guys want to learn how to publish books, it's real simple and easy to do. You get the Word program for your computer and uh, type out a book. Uh, I use uh, my, uh, the uh, uh, Papyra font. Uh, it doesn't work for Kindle. Uh, it turns it back into a, I can't remember which font it is, but one of the normal fonts. Uh, the way to bypass that is to do your Kindle version as pictures. Each page is a JPEG picture. And uh, uh, that solves the problem. Uh, and so I uh, learned about that a little too late. <laughs> I started going off onto other topics before, uh, when, as I was about to go into the vocabulary for Paleo Hebrew. Uh, but uh, uh, that's what I will be doing, uh, most likely after conference weekend, uh, because uh, 
uh, again, nothing more to criticize anymore. It's over. It's done. And so I can go back to Egyptian and Paleo Hebrew and, and put all of it behind. I mean, the news, I don't even have it on anymore. I mean, it's just, oh, we're now at 3 billion people who have coronavirus and 50 million have died. <laughs> it's just, those are the updates. You have Cuomo doing his thing to counteract Trump doing his thing. You do know that Trump has to carry this coronavirus on forever now. You do understand that, right? Because once he says coronavirus is gone, we conquered, I conquered, <laughs> I'm the war hero, uh, guess what we as Americans who survived will do and must do? Sue. All tons of lawsuits. You put our lives in jeopardy. You called it a hoax. You got Fox third you got Fox News to call it a hoax. Fox can be sued too. We can take down Fox now. Once this coronavirus is over and the courts open back up, sue Fox. Take them out of business. Do this cancer or cancel culture that has emerged lately. Fox's toast, their history. We've got them on tape, we've got them on record, they're gone. They put American lives at risk as Americans are dying. Trump himself was spouting off drugs to take and a couple in Arizona took them. The husband died. The woman, last I heard, was surviving but uh, she had to go to the hospital too. Trump is a murderer. He murdered American citizens. I mean, how many have died? Are we over the amount that President Bush killed in 9-11? You do know he did that, right? They're covering it up, but he did it. Uh, how many died at 9-11? Okay, 2,977 died. Yep, we've passed 9-11. Trump is the worst criminal president ever. The most tyrant dictator ever. Because we've passed 3,000. I, I think we're over 5,000. How many are dead in America from coronavirus? No, not a hundred. Four days. No, 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 now. Four days. No, three, no, ten thousand. Oh, that's Italy. Yep, three hours ago, we passed three thousand. So as of last night, and carrying on into this morning, we have passed the number of deaths of American citizens murdered by our president from 9-11. President Trump has murdered over three million Americans. He was the one calling it a hoax in the beginning, said well, there's 15, I don't want to bring those people over from the, the cruise liner because that'll add to the numbers. But it'll go down to zero. And then he went and sent people who got infected because they weren't protected. And so they, they then came home and spread it throughout America. And then we had uh, governors who refused to deal with it from the beginning. And uh, it's now escalated so that we're now number one in the world. Trump is a murderer, he is a war criminal. He's calling himself the wartime president. He's now a war criminal of American citizens. What is the penalty for a war criminal? I wonder. I wonder what we did to Saddam Hussein. My uh, cousin was on that trial. He was one of the lawyers in the case. One of the billion lawyers they had. And Saddam Hussein was set up by the Bush family. 
He kept the peace. There was no Al-Qaeda. He kept them down. There was no um, ISIS. It was Bush who took out Saddam Hussein, blaming him for 9-11. Huh. And then uh, had him hung. Hanged. There is no hung for people. <coughs> and, uh... My God. Because the other Bush brother was in charge of security at the towers. And then you had the BBC who had the towers in the background and were announcing that the t one of the towers had fallen and it hadn't fallen yet. It was right there in the background. <laughs> What's going on? God. And then the BYU professor says, no, it can't fall like that. It defied the laws of physics. Oh, but the congressional report says that's the way it happened. <laughs> and we're not going to talk about the congressman who sold stock in airplane industry companies right before it happened. And, you know, just like the congressman who also sold their stock before coronavirus hit the fan. They all know what's going on. They're just playing us for chumps. So, yeah. Trump's a wartime criminal. Wartime a criminal president? War criminal? And he just doesn't care. He's one of the, the uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse. Because you do know they're kings, right? Four kings. Trump's one of them. And Trump also does a cameo appearance later on in the book of Revelation in chapter 12, 13. Putin's in chapter 12. <laughs> Not as the man-child, the one trying to kill the man-child. <sighs> My hell, people. Christians are looking for the rapture. You're not going to get the rapture, guys. This was man-made. This was purposely done to mock you. To mock Christianity. To make a joke of it. To show you that you were wrong. Because they know who the true Christ is that's supposed to come. did the video this morning about how Matthew can't figure out the right date for the birth. <laughs> I, did I count up to 12? Did anybody count the number of, of times he was told to have been born? Each with a different sign in the heaven. <sighs> Alrighty.